Hello, my name is Wayne Invictus, and welcome to my first makeup tutorial on YouTube. Yay! Um, today I will be doing a review on the ColourPop Ooh La La palette. I got it during the um, $9 pan sale. I was like, sure, why not? Let's give it a go. Um, I am by no means a professional, so take my advice as you will. <laughs> so, yeah. The first thing I like to start off with is um, the Mario Bisco Hydrating Moisturizer with vitamin C in it. I tend to get really dry and flaky skin, especially around my nose, so this just kind of helps to um, keep the foundation from caking up while moisturizing my skin in the process. And then the next thing I like to do is I like using the um, the Fit Me um, foundation by Maybelline with my e.l.f. blending brush. So I just put a little bit of that on the back of my hand and go to town. After that, I use the um, e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I'm kind of pale, so I use it in the fair beige. Then I just put it in triangles under my eyes, as well as covering any blemishes I currently have. Do a little T to cover my chin. I put just a little bit on my eyelids so I can prime it. For the makeup I like to put on. Um, I do normally use the um, Ulta primer for the eyes, but I am currently out, so as of right now, I will be using my concealer. And I do like to also wet my sponge with the Mario spray in the um, Herbs and Rose Water one. Okay. I hope don't ruin my white shirt. Okay, after I'm all blended out and good to go, I take my Morphe Beauty Blender. And I like to use the Revolution Translucent Setting Powder for underneath my eyes and um, all the highlights on my face. It can take a minute to get it there, but I like the way it looks. I think it looks nice. Let me... You do have to be careful with the powder, though it does get all over your clothes so be careful about that I also like setting the powder underneath my eyes because playing with this color pop palette it does have a lot of fallout if you're not careful so this just helps preserve your foundation and your concealer and all that 
Oops, that one hit my hair. You do want to be quite generous with it. Close them to my chin. Okay. Now I do let that sit there and bake while I do my eye makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the eye look. It is already primed with the concealer. Um, I guess, let me, I forgot I had concealer my eye for a split second, let me set that real quick. So, at this point, again, I will be doing, using the Ooh La La palette from ColourPop. It is an all pink, purple, neutral type of palette, which I do prefer. I like to use more pinks and purples, blues, more on the color side as well as, you know, brown looks. I have the um, Anna palette as well, if you guys would like a review on that one. I use that one more for my everyday looks. So when playing around with this palette, I do realize it's a little bit hard on camera um, for it to be seen. So I'm going to try my best to make it a little bit more um, noticeable. But I will say that in person, these colors, here, what are you doing? These colors are very pigmented and they're very um, pretty. I'm going to take a blending brush. It's just one I got off of Amazon. It's a cheap little one, but it does what it needs to do. Again, balling on a budget. So I'm just going to take that and just blend it up into my crease, going a little bit higher, but not as far up as my brow bone. Oh, and by the way, I am taking the color soft pour, that middle brown. Now this is just a nice, pretty, neutral color to start off the eye look. So after you take that brown, I'm just taking, um, what is it, my Essence blending brush and dipping it into the sandbar pink right there. On camera it doesn't look that pink, but it's a very like neon bright pink, kind of like the um, pink from the Morphe palettes, the James Charles and the Hit the Lights palette. It is very, very pink like that, those ones are. So it's very, very vibrant. It just doesn't show up that way on camera. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend this into the crease a little bit above the brown or a little bit below the brown, sorry. It just makes that pretty pink brown gradient that I absolutely adore. I know it's looking pretty freaking wild right now, but don't you worry. I repeat the same stuff on the other eye. I have a hooded eye I tend to go up a little bit higher than most people would just so you can actually see my makeup plus I normally wear glasses so it's like a double whammy like I make it very boom there if you want it to be noticeable then I'm gonna go in with the color down here called caddy it's a darker purple shade which I think would make a very nice um, dark V for the eye
So I just take that and go on the outer V of my eye. It just creates this really nice smoky look. These wet and wild brushes are actually really soft and they tend to blend very nice for the price. Say so if you can't afford fancier brushes, they are a really nice alternative. I do also have the um, Essence brushes. They blend very nice as well. They're also very good for packing and stuff of that nature. And they are, I believe, either $1.99 or $3.99 at Ulta. So those ones aren't a bad pickup either. Awesome. And now that the outer V is uh, pretty dark, we're going to go ahead and brush away the um, powder that's still left on our face. You see that powder just wipes away that excess fallout. Um, this time the fallout wasn't as bad, but I would still lay down powder as a precaution, like 110% for sure. And then once that's all set, set and done, I will be taking a little bit of my concealer on the back of my hand to create a cut crease. Now cut creases are one of my like all time favorite looks to do. I really just, uh, I adore them. And I am just taking um, my flat brush. Again, got these off of Amazon. It came with the whole set. I think it was like $12.99 for a pack of like 14 or something, but they're cute brushes and they do what they need to do. So we're just going to take that and cut our crease out. I need a little bit more concealer. I didn't quite put enough on my hand. I do go pretty high up with my cut creases again because I have a hooded eye so it just makes it a little bit more noticeable. And that's what we're looking at so far. Looking pretty wild, I know. Don't you worry. So after that, um, make sure you wash your hands before this. But I take my finger 
and I will be taking the color Big Sugar, this like pretty sparkly pink over here, and I will just be placing it right on top of that concealer. Okay. Like, do not be afraid to pack that pigment on. Can't really tell on um, camera, but it is more of like a neon pink. So it mixes in very, very well with this dark purple um, outer corner that we got going on. Very pretty color. But it is more of like a neon pink. So it mixes in very, very well with this dark purple um, outer corner that we got going on. Very pretty color. Sorry, I tend to crouch down. Ooh, that's a very pretty color. It doesn't quite show it on camera, but it is very, very pretty. Hey, what's the start? You know, getting up there a little bit, best on a better camera. So I'm just gonna go back in with that color Caddy back on my brush and just kind of blend the two together. You don't want a harsh line where the two meet. And really, you could take um, your pink and your purple and drag it under your lash line. And you could put on some lashes and boom, here we are. But I like to take it a step further. I like to go so much further with my looks. I really like the glittery, like up there type, out there type of looks. So I'm taking the um, Revlon Eye Glisten. I got it for $10 at Ulta. It's very, very pretty if you just want to slap it on and go. You don't want to do all the extra work, so it is really nice. But I'm going to take the glitter side of it, not the more of like the sheer side of it. And I'm just going to place that right down the middle where the purple and the pink connect. You know what? I think I'm going to put it all over that pink we just laid down. Not too much, because I still want the pink to show through, but just enough to where it's like, boom, I'm glitter. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Can't really see it on camera again, which kind of sucks. But if you want to see the full looks, online and their true beauty and their true color head over to my instagram at swain victus s-w-a-i-n-v-i-c-t-u-s and all my looks will be posted over there i am also a gaming channel and i stream games on twitch so if you guys are interested in that you can follow me at twitch.tv slash swain invictus Okay, now we gotta let the glitter dry a little bit so it doesn't get stuck. So after the glitter dries, I'm going to go ahead and um, apply eyeliner and mascara. But while we're waiting on that, we're gonna finish up our face. Um, I don't wear concealer. I just wear highlighter, which I will be trying brand new today, the ColourPop Stole the Show Super Shock Cheek Highlighter just this really pretty like white color. I really enjoyed the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills white in the, um, I think it was the Moonchild palette. I really like that one. 
So we're going to give this one a go today, see if it's a good dupe for it. And then while I'm here, I'm going to put it in the inner corner of my eye. And it just kind of gives a little blink to it. I might take, um, I got an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. I'm going to take the color in the Ooh La La palette, Tickle, this first one up here. It's a very like pinky, like shift to blue look. I'm going to take that and put it on top of the highlight that we just put in our inner corner. Ooh, yeah, I like that a lot better. Yep, that's it, Chief. Okay, so now that the glitter on my eye has finally dried, it feels like it takes forever. We are going to drag the colors on our bottom lash line real quick. And to do that, I'm going to take my little angle brush in um, the Real Techniques. And I'm going to take the sandbar color, that neon pink again, and I'm going to pack it onto my lower lash line. See, there's that fallout I was talking about. You can't really see it on camera, but there is fallout underneath my eye right there. So that is why I suggest having that base of powder down. I wasn't expecting it to fall out right there though. Let's repeat with the other eye. That's what we're working with so far. Which if you're like me and you have wrinkly under eyes, sometimes this process kind of looks a little bit weird so you can play around with what works best for you. Then I'm gonna go back in with the purple caddy right here and blend that into my lower lash line. Oh, there that fallout is again right there. You can see it on camera this time. I just take my powder brush and just wipe it away. Wipe all my problems away. <laughs> and sometimes when it looks like blocky like it does right now, I'll just take the same brush that I was using for my outer V on this corner and just kind of blend it out a little bit. Just to give it a more smoky look. just like that looking pretty cute <laughs> so far I do enjoy this palette I'm gonna dab that up a little bit because it transferred to my under eye so that's lovely but that was on me that was user error not the palette's fault for sure my error okay so far this is what we got pretty cute so after taking all that, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more of my concealer. Just a teeny tiny bit to cover up that pink that I screwed up. Again, completely my fault. 110% user error. Sometimes you just goof.
And then I'm just retaking my um, Fit Me powder on my face brush and just resetting it. No big deal, looks like nothing ever happened. <laughs> so this is what we got going on so far. I quite like it. So after this, I do have the ColourPop, um, where did it go? The ColourPop BFF um, eyeliner, but I'm not very good with the felt tips yet. So I still use my straight liquid liner. Um, today I am using the um, e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in yeah black so yeah when I do my eyeliner since I have a hooded eye I have to go a little bit more out and in with it so I just draw my lines here first and I just go in and draw it however thick I would like it for the day see it's a little tiny line there and I go from the inner corner to the outer corner Just like that. I won't look up yet because I want to wait for it to dry. But with a look like this, you also don't have to do eyeliner. You can skip it if you want to. You don't 100% like eyeliner is a must. It's not. Any look, eyeliner is completely optional. If you don't feel comfortable doing eyeliner, then just don't do eyeliner. There's many, many looks I go without eyeliner. Okay, now the problem is getting them even. <laughs> Ooh. I think they're uneven already. <laughs> I like to put on some Listex. Yeah, I keep those lips hydrated. And then I'm not a big fan of lipstick. I'm trying to change my opinion on that though. I'm just gonna be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Jelly lip gloss. It's just this pretty sheer one. Just pop that right on top. And then I like to use the Mario rose water spray as a setting spray as well and you style your hair as you normally would so I just got bangs today so this is a new experience for me <laughs> just like to wipe off my hands a little bit and then just style your hair as you normally would Ooh. And boom, bada bing, you got yourself a look. So, this is my first makeup tutorial. Thank you for staying and watching if you did. I do have other palettes by ColourPop as well as other brands as well. I just got in the Ooh La La palette. I also have the Mint To Be and the Strawberry Shake. I also have the Masquerade palette as well as the... Um, Anna and Elsa set along with those glitter gels. I have um, the Morphe Hit the Lights palette, the James Charles palette. I have the new Fantasy Eyes palette as well. So if you guys are wanting to see some looks with those, 
go ahead and let me know down in the comments like subscribe and again if you'd like to keep up with me on social media or would like to see this look in all its glory not by my cap crappy camera it's at swain invictus s-w-a-i-n-v-i-c-t-u-s again i also stream gaming content every single day any game of the week twitch.tv slash swain invictus thank you